Hey YouTube, back with another review. Today I'm going to be looking at the Manto X Kit from Rinko. The Manto X Kit is a compact and lightweight mod that comes with Rinko's Metis Mix Mesh Tank. The Manto X is the follow-up to the Manto S mod and the original Manto TC mod, both of which I have also reviewed. Rinko have been working really hard this year to expand their product range. Rinko now have a whole family of Manto mods. Now offering several mods, pods and starter kits, Rinko have come a long way from where they started earlier this year. Let's jump straight in and have a closer look at the Rinko Manto X starter kit. Let's unbox the Rinko Manto X Mesh Kit. Rip this plastic off. Ah, this is the red one. So basic stuff on the back of the box. Package includes your scratch and check, Rinko social media and info. Let's open it up. We get our little Rinko product card. Quality certificate, warranty card, your Metis Mix user manual, battery safety card, and your manual for your Manto X. Manto X has a similar design to the Manto S with a few small differences. In this kit, you also get the Metis Mix tank. We'll put them on to the side and let's just actually jump straight into having a look at this tank. It's a nice little tank. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's not a nice tank. It looks quite nice. Designed by Rinko. Metis Mix. We have resin drip tip. This one's stainless steel, of course. So Rinko, in, when they've designed this, what they've done is they've designed the coil with basically the chimney attached to it. That piece does not come off. Like it's knurled, but it is all in one piece. Now, obviously, a shorter space between the mesh and your mouthpiece is probably going to give you better flavour and maybe some better vapour production as well. The Metis Mix Tank is a 6mm tank. I'm going to be putting some apple turnover. Oh, there we go. We got there in the end. I managed to fill it up. I was running a little bit low on juice. And as you can see, it's a little bit difficult when you're using a dropper to fill this. Uh, they could have been just a little bit wider. Well, let's put this one back together. So I didn't have quite six mils left of juice to fill this one up, but uh, there we go. Rinko Metis Mix Tank. Well, let's have a closer look at the Manto X. Now, compared to the Manto S, the Manto X is actually a little bit smaller again just slightly in height, not too much. Maybe only about three or four mil. And about the same with width, this one's just slightly wider. But with the Manto X, as you can see, the 510 is more centered, so you can use a large atomizer on this one. Which is gonna look kind of strange. I have seen some people using the Aroma Miser Plus, the that really, really huge RTA on this, and it looks kind of strange, but also kind of cool because they're almost the same height. But uh yeah, so the Manto X, just slightly different design features, slightly different buttons. Uh, this one's got is made of more of a PC plastic, whereas this one's an alloy. Now this one doesn't have a battery door or a back panel like the Manto S. This one has a little spring-loaded door on the bottom. Positive and negative mark is marked on the bottom of the battery door. And you also have positive and negative marked clearly in the bottom there, if you can see down there. And I do apologise if there's noise in the background. It's just decided to start raining. And it's a bit loud when it rains here. The battery... Your battery ventilation is located up the top here. And we have that on either side. 
quite a large power button. But yeah, I like that this one is centered like the original Manto was. Let's go ahead and put some batteries. So the battery compartment is actually quite small. Like they've really made this quite compact. So the battery door is almost exactly the same as the one they've used on the bottom of the IPV. It is spring loaded and it's got a little catch on it so it clicks in. So it's quite a secure door, there's no button rattle or anything like this on this one. Just like there wasn't on the Manto S either. Now this one, the screen appears to be a little bit duller. You get the little Rinko boot logo and then it pops up. It's got the exact same menu design and screen as the Manto S. Though this one has plastic coating over the top which makes the visibility on this really, really, really hard to read. So we are in variable wattage mode even though you can't see what wattage we're using there. So you do have puff seconds on here which is good. Uh, the ohms are reading 0.17. I've got this at about 55 watts to start with. A little thing I just noticed is usually down is on the on the left hand side. Like on literally every single mod there is, like down is the left hand side. So it's a little bit strange because I went to adjust the temperature down and realized it was actually going up because I'm used to the down button being on the left. Here is the Manto X Mesh Kit. 228 watts. Sleek little design. We do have a centered 510. I've got the Metis Mix Tank on top of this one. Yeah, I mean, I do like the design of it. It looks nice. So in terms of size, yeah, the Manto X definitely is a little bit smaller. But uh, the Manto S is still fairly light, especially with that PC plastic that's been used there. Whereas this one is a some sort of alloy blend with plastic. Oh, and of course you've got your micro USB on front there. And yeah, strange that the buttons are in opposite positions from what I'm used to. Anywho, let's go back up top and have a chat about the Manto X Mesh Kit. The Metis Mix Tank has a top fill design. There are four different mesh coils available for the Metis Mix Tank. The Manto X mod supports dual 18650 batteries with a maximum output of 228 watts. On here you have four temperature control modes for NI, SI, TI as well as TCR. The Manto X mod is made out of a zinc alloy material and has a stoving varnish which makes it very very shiny. There are three operation modes on the Manto X, you have bypass mode, variable wattage mode as well as temperature control mode. The Manto X comes in black, grey, blue and this lovely red. Input voltage of 6 to 8.4 volts. Size, it's 70 millimetres tall with a width of 40 millimetres and a depth of 37 millimetres. The Manto X supports USB charging at 2 amps and it has a max output current of 50 amps and a maximum output voltage of 8 volts. The Metis Mix Tank is a 25 millimetre diameter and a height of 41.3 millimetres. The tank capacity of this one is 6 mil. The single mesh coil in the Metis Mix Tank has a resistance of 0.15 ohms and is best vaped at 40 to 70 watts. You can also get dual mesh coils, triple mesh coils and a quad mesh coil. The Manto X kit of course comes with the Manto X mod and the Metis Mix Mesh Subarm Tank. The tank has a 6mm capacity and surprisingly doesn't chew through your juice that quickly. 
Only one coil comes included with the kit and that is the single mesh coil. The flavor and cloud production on that single mesh coil is pretty impressive. I'm definitely getting some good flavor and the sweetness of my juice. The coil in here is pretty tall and there isn't really a chimney. So when you put the tank together, the coil screws directly into your top fill cap and the top of the coil kind of makes the chimney. So there's very little space between the coil and your mouthpiece, which does provide some really good intense flavor and dense clouds. While the design is good for the flavor, it does make it one of those tanks that is impossible to switch out your coil without draining the tank first. The Manto X mod is constructed from a durable zinc alloy, and it also has a stoving varnish, which means it's gonna be a little bit more durable than other mods. You shouldn't get any paint chips off this one, and it should be able to handle minor drops and falls. The Manto X uses the same chip and user interface as we saw in the Manto S, although this one does have a plastic cover over your screen. Now they both have a very similar shape, although the Manto X has a much smaller form factor. One of the differences between the Manto S and the Manto X is that the Manto X has gone with a centered 510 connection. So you are able to use atomizers of 30 millimeters without any overhang. The other difference between the two is the Manto X has a hinged battery door located on the bottom, which makes it a little more secure than the simply magnetized back panel and the Manto S. The location of the battery bay gives the Manto X a much smaller size. It is one of the smallest 18650 mods currently on the market. I find the shape of the Manto X very comfortable to hold. I also like that they went with the power button on the front. This just makes it a lot easier and more comfortable to fire, whether you're using your left hand or your right hand. The smaller size of the Manto X does make it more convenient to carry, although it is actually slightly heavier than the Manto S because of the materials used. There are battery ventilation holes located on each side of the mod, which really flow with the more angular design of the Manto X. The screen on the Manto X is encased in a protective plastic. It makes it a little bit more durable and resistant to breaking the screen and such, but that plastic does actually make it a little difficult to see when you're in direct light. One of the little quirks of this mod that threw me was the fact that the up and down buttons are kind of opposite to what you see on most mods. Usually the left would be down and right would be up. Well, on this one, left is up and right is down. I'm not sure why they kind of switched that because it was exactly the opposite on the Manto S. I'm guessing the buttons on this one were configured that way to actually save space. Three clicks of the power button will allow you to change your modes from variable wattage, your temperature control modes, as well as bypass mode. The two selection buttons on the front of the mod will lock your resistance. Clearly displayed on the screen is your individual battery levels, the mode you're in, your wattage, your resistance, as well as your volts. And there is also a puff seconds directly underneath your wattage. It has all the information you could possibly need. I do like the fact, however, that they included bypass mode in this. But in terms of performance on the Manto X, bypass mode was very accurate. I put a build on here of about 0.13 ohms and it was hitting around 127 watts. And you could see the wattage it was displayed on the screen. So bypass mode works quite well. That was a bonus. Pros. The Manto X is definitely one of the smallest 18650 mods out on the market currently. It's both shorter than the Manto S as well as the Vupu VMate. The shape and size of the Manto X makes it very comfortable to hold. It just fits really well in your hand. I'm glad they went with a front fire button as well as the centered 510 on this one. The power button being on the front is much easier to press. It's not stiff. It has the right level of resistance and there's no button rattle in the mod either. Now the hinged battery door on this for me was another pro because it did actually reduce the size of the mod. This one does feel slightly more comfortable to hold. There is a little locking system on the back of here so your battery door isn't going to come flying open unexpectedly. Should you drop your mod with a back battery panel you might see your back battery panel come off but this one shouldn't have any issues. Another pro was the clean and easy to use user interface. There's no hidden menus or options, it's all very simple. All the information you need is displayed on the screen. The final pro for me was the inclusion of bypass mode. 
So there's something for everyone from new vapors to more advanced vapors in the Manto X kit. Cons. One of the cons for me was the position of the up and down button just being opposite to what I'm used to on pretty much every other mod I own. You do get used to it after a while, but it did throw me a little bit at first. Now I'm sure the reason Rinko probably did that was to save on space. The other con was the plastic casing which is over the screen. In direct sunlight or direct light, it makes it very hard to actually read what's on the screen. Now obviously it does give the screen some level of protection, but the Manto S didn't have this on it and of course it's the same screen that is in the Manto S. You really don't get the full brightness that the OLED screen has. Another con with the kit itself is specifically the Metis Mix tank. Now while I do get some good flavour and clouds from it, I can't say that I'm actually really a fan of the design. The lack of the chimney has an issue where basically you can't swap out the coil in your tank unless you have completely drained your tank. Now of course I did go into a little bit more detail in my Manto S kit review about the issues, the specific issues I had with the Metis Mix tank. Now the only other con for me about the kit was that there is only one coil included in the box and of course that is your single mesh coil 0.15 ohms which is good for vaping at 40 to 70 watts. Rinko have three other coils which are available for the Metis Mix tank. I think it would have been good if they had, had have included maybe the dual mesh coil so you could actually see how this tank performs at higher wattages. Of course with the quad mesh you can vape all the way at 100 30 to 170 watts so I think it just would have been good to include one of those extra coils just so people could really gauge the performance of the tank at a higher wattage. Bottom line now the mesh coil that was included in this kit definitely by any means was not bad I found the sweet spot to be about 55 to 60 watts I was getting some really good dense clouds and some great flavor of course the selection button's just been reversed, it's not a major con but it was something that just kind of threw me. With a maximum wattage of 228 watts, this is definitely one of the more powerful little starter kits out there. And it's also definitely one of the smallest 18650 starter kits. It is a little bit shorter and a little bit thinner than the Manto S, so it makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold. Of course, it isn't lighter due to that zinc alloy chassis. I think it's good that Rinko included temperature control mode as well as bypass mode in this little kit. You don't always see it in starter kits, and the wattage range of up to 228 watts means that this thing has enough power for even more advanced vapors. Overall, I think the Manto X starter kit is a pretty good kit for new vapors and more advanced vapors are going to find bypass mode and temperature control options in here and added advantage. We have the same chip in here that is in the Manto S, so if you're familiar with the Manto S, this is exactly the same. So yeah, check out the Manto X kit from Rinko. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel as well and hit that little notification bell. Anyway, thank you for watching. Keep it cloudy.